Today I'm here with my best friend Sanya, who recently discovered that she's got curly hair. So today we're going to be doing a protein filled wash day and I'm going to try finger coiling her hair. So if you want to see her hair transform from straight to curly then stick around. And we are back, Sanya's hair is cleaned and conditioned. I used the Pretty Curly Girl Reset Shampoo and the Jessie Curl Conditioner. The first one I'm going to be doing is working in sections and brushing through the curl cream and the Flora Curl Curl Defining Gel. Then I will be finger coiling her hair and scrunching in the Only Curls London Gel. So I put on my Instagram that we were going to be recording this video and some of you left some questions for us. So one of the questions was what products are suitable for your hair when you're starting the curly girl method and you've got a sensitive and sore scalp. My husband suffers a lot with his scalp and I got him the As I Am Dry and Itchy Scalp Curl Wash and it's gotten rid of all of his dandruff and all of his itchiness even just after one wash. So I highly recommend this. And aside from that, I recommend keeping products away from your scalp so as not to irritate it and aggravate it even more. And I've also got some questions for Sanya. So I was wondering, what was your hair like when you were growing up? Uh, before I turned three, my hair was extremely curly, like spirally curly and blonde. But then as I was cutting my hair, it was getting straighter and straighter and it was getting darker. And then it started frizzing up. And I just grew up thinking I've got frizzy hair <laughs> and that's it. And another question I had, which I think you kind of pretty much answered, yeah. was what did you struggle most with your hair when you were growing up? So was it the frizz? It was the frizz, but like styling it, I think it's because of the frizz. It never looked nice. I didn't know what to do with it anymore. I think that's something that a lot of people struggle with because a lot of people don't know that their hair is curly and they struggle with the same things that you struggled with. So I was also wondering what made you wonder or realize that maybe your hair was curly because I feel like I was mm -hmm. doing my hair wavy for about like a year or something and I was yeah. dropping hints <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I guess it was like, because I was like checking it out and I was thinking, hmm, could my hair be curly? I, I was just, I had doubts. Yeah. So many doubts because I grew up thinking that my hair is just a frizz ball. The first wash, I could not believe it. So for those that don't know, I made a post about it on my Instagram maybe a couple months ago now. Sonia came around and I did her hair for the first time the way I would usually do mine, just to see how it dried. And we were kind of like maybe expecting it to be wavy. I told her not to get her expectations up really high because maybe her hair's damaged and it might take a while for the curls to to start showing up so I will insert a photo of her first wash so that you can see that we were we were blown away <laughs> literally all night we were just like oh my god we can't I believe your hair and I was like oh I don't like mine anymore <laughs> since wearing your hair curly what is the most challenging thing that you face well recently i mean that's why we we're doing this kind of protein wash yeah um i told you that i've got like problems with them turning out as curls because i'm still kind of new to this whole routine mm -hmm. knowing what uh what to do what not to do yeah is challenging and kind of knowing when i have to change my routine if they're not turning up curly knowing that oh i'm lacking this or i need this or i don't need any more of that but that's just gonna come through experience as well so yeah that will definitely come with time another question was any tips 
Mm -hmm. movies? I would say, well, definitely reading a lot, being curious, educating yourself on not just the routine, but your hair as well. I think it's really important. Yeah. It's not just that you know the routine, but you have knowledge about different types of hair too. Mm, yeah. Okay, so Sanya's hair is all finger coiled. I'm now going to... I don't have a spray bottle for water, unfortunately. So we're going to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna wet my hands a little bit and do some scrunching and then we will diffuse her hair. If you want to see how I do that, check out my first ever YouTube video where I show my diffusing routine. So we will be back when she is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia's hair is 100% dry, it's looking a little crazy at the minute but it will look okay in a few seconds. I'm going to use the Forest and Shore Hallelujah Hair Oil, just a couple of drops to scrunch out the cast. <laughs> once before this is my second time and obviously the more you practice the better you get at it and I feel like the top layer especially and the curls around the front are super spirally and mm. sausage like <laughs> and yeah. but some of the bottom layers they're a bit looser here somewhere over here yeah and I think that's because I took too long doing her hair <laughs> okay guys hit the like button and subscribe <laughs> okay, my okay. mind just went blank. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> okay, guys, hit that like button and subscribe to Jess's channel. I upload videos once a week and. <laughs> okay. I upload videos once a week and I've got lots more fun content planned and in the works for you guys. That's it from us. We hope that you enjoyed this video and learning more about Sanya's hair and her hair journey so far. And I'm sure that you'll be seeing her again on this channel. See you all <laughs> next time. <laughs> See you all next time, guys. <laughs> See you all next time.